In today's video, Welcome back to my channel. My husband was just making funny faces at me because I can see out the deck from where I'm sitting. So he's out there trying to distract me. I have my... <laughs> Today we're going to be working on the fireplace behind me. I am so excited because this room is our main living room. We kind of had two living rooms that will hopefully change in the future. But this is in the back of the house. It's nice and cozy in here. There's a vaulted ceiling. I just finished painting the walls. So the fireplace is the next step, which means I am closer to decorating it and getting this room done and ready for a big reveal. I am pretty much basing my entire house around someone that I follow on Instagram. Nesting with Grace is her Instagram handle and also her blog if you wanna check her out. I just love everything she does. She has more of an eclectic look, but she just puts together everything so nicely. What I love is that she incorporates some colors to her design, some high-end pieces and things from thrift stores. It looks amazing how she put everything together. Some things I am trying to do like her, although I'm trying to do it on a little bit more of a budget. She likes to shop at places like Lulu and Georgia and Anthropology. I just don't have that awesome of a budget right now. So I am doing things a little bit more affordable and that's gonna start with my fireplace. I got two colors from Sherwin-Williams. One is Dovetail, which I used in my last house on the fireplace and it's a really nice cement color. It's not like cool and uninviting. It is a nice warm gray color. The other one that I got is Aviatrix, maybe, and it's a little bit darker. It was the next one down on the color card. So I'm going to put, just like you can see here, there's some, there's some darker bricks. I'm going to use that darker color and kind of create that so it has a nice dimension and a textured look to it. I don't want the fireplace to look like it's painted. I want it to look like brick. I need to prime it first, but then I'm gonna try to do a really light coat and see what that looks like. And I do wanna put white in between each brick or maybe like a dirty white color. The first thing that we are going to do is clean off the fireplace. So I took a damp rag, got rid of any dust and debris. My husband got rid of a spider or two. <laughs> and then as you can see, I am starting to tape off around the insert because I do not want to get any paint on the insert. The mantle and frame and the brick are both going to be painted. I also will need to tape where the carpet is. So I'm going to go finish taping and we'll see how far we get tonight. So I want to show you the paint colors right here. This one is Dovetail and this is the color that I used on my last house fireplace to make it look like concrete. So I think a lot of the bricks will be this but then I want to accent it with a few darker bricks that will be this color. Because I know that Dovetail is a tried and true color for me it definitely reads like a cement color and I think that it will go with this one. It's good to get little swatches like this so you can see how it will look. This wood right here, I want it white so that the fireplace brick will stand out. I will probably just do the smaller quartz because it shouldn't take a lot. priming 
it always takes longer than I think it will because there are so many little nooks and crannies everywhere. And this mantle part, I am definitely doing with a brush. The brick, you could either do a brush or a roller. The roller would definitely be faster. It may not get into the little cracks as well. I think I'm just gonna use a brush because it doesn't seem that big. <laughs> I'm sure I'll, halfway through I'll be like, why didn't I do a roller? So we'll see what happens. We're gonna teach my oldest daughter how to paint. So you're gonna wanna hold it. Mm. Here. Yep. So I hold it like a pencil. Okay, and you need to do a little bit harder. And you wanna go slow, small strokes. You know what I'm realizing as I'm doing this, that painting is actually kind of therapeutic for me. I don't know, I'm getting something done, I'm in control of what I'm doing, and it's just kind of, uh, I don't know if I wanna say relaxing because it does hurt my body, but I do like painting. All right, so last night I decided to finish the whole thing. It probably took me somewhere between two and a half and three hours of actual work, but this is just primed with the Zinser primer. I like that there are still spots in here. I think that'll turn out good because I do want it to look like brick still. I don't want it to look like a whole painted unit. So I'm hoping that keeping some of these spots unpainted will still help it to look like brick. I am going to paint the mantle and I think I'm gonna do a matte because I don't really want it to be shiny. We'll see how it looks. It'll probably take a good two coats and we will get that painted first and then we'll start working on the brick. I just finished doing the outside and I did have to do four coats on this. I don't know what's up with the paint or something, but normally three coats would be fine. I just really wanted to make sure it was all covered really well. So now we're gonna head on to the brick. I wanna show you my paint. I have my computer right here and I have the fireplace that I'm trying to mimic. So I'm just gonna keep this open with me so I can keep looking at it and see how it looks as I'm going along. Aviatrix, which is the dark color and dovetail. Again, one of my tried and true colors. I do want the in-between pieces to be white, so I will have to tediously go back through and make sure those are all white when I'm done. I think I'm gonna go and do the dark bricks. That way I have them where I want them and spaced out, and then I'll go back through and do the light ones. This is looking good. I think I like the color. I'm going to need to go over it with a rag. Like I'll probably use an old t-shirt that has a little bit of white and kind of smear it over some places because I don't want it to look like just paint. I want it to look like brick.
I think all the spots are done. It looks like a polka dot brick fireplace. But those are the dark ones. I'm gonna start going through with the lighter dovetail color now. See how it looks, see if I need to add any dark spots or make some lighter. So we'll see. So my next step is doing the light coat. This brush, definitely better. Smaller, more easy to get it where I need it to go. Because I still want to keep white in between the bricks, I don't just want to take a big roller or brush and just go everywhere. So I am still doing one brick at a time and thank goodness my fireplace isn't bigger. That would take me forever to do one brick at a time. But I still want to keep as much white as possible so that when I go through and do touch-ups, I don't have to do quite as much. So that is why I'm not just going crazy. I think with the two colors, it really makes it look like it's real brick and not painted. So we will see how it looks once I continue, if I need to change any of the colors, make any lighter, darker, or something. I don't know, we'll see. See how it looks when I do the next step, which is I'm gonna take my brush and go through these grout lines and make them white again. It's going to be a tedious job, but I think it will really make it look amazing. It's totally okay if I get it like on the brick on some parts because I want it to look not perfect. I want it to look like it's real brick with imperfections. If you attempt this at home, don't put a lot on your brush, swipe it over gently so that it looks like it's been there for years. If I made that line perfect, it would look like it had been painted. So just a little tip for you. I just finished doing in between all the bricks with the white. I love how it turned out. It's amazing to me that you can paint a fireplace and make it look like brick. How crazy is that? So I am going to take off the tape. Um, it's set on there longer than I wanted to. And if I still do my next step of kind of a little bit of a whitewash, which I'm not sure I'm gonna do yet. I wanna live with this for probably five minutes and then I'll make my mind, but I don't need the tape on there for that. So let's take off the tape. We can see what it looks like and then I'll think about what I wanna do. The fireplace is done. I love it. I think it turned out great. I am going to tell you I am waiting on two items for this room and then it is done. One of which is a couch coming right there. It's green. It's coming tomorrow. The other one is the light fixture up here. I ordered it from Serena and Lily and I think it's supposed to be here within the next 10 days. As soon as that comes and I get it up, 
this room will be done and I can show it to you. I'm so excited. But let's look at the fireplace right now. I love it. I do think it turned out awesome. I think doing the darker brick color in there really gives it a more authentic look. I just love it. I was originally thinking that we would demo this fireplace and start over but i love the brick i think it brings in some warmth and character i think in the long run we are going to lower this mantle down here so that we can put a tv up there because it goes with my long-term plans of um, knocking down a wall it's nice having these candles on at night and one of these days, we'll have to make sure the fireplace actually works. I hope you enjoyed the fireplace makeover. I had a lot of fun doing that project. I hope that it inspires you to do a fun project in your home. I will see you back here soon. I hope you have a great day.